Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to another video, welcome to another reaction. Oh, I'm super tired, it is 2.36 a.m. Um, I should be going to bed, but the reality is I did fucking nothing today compared to the other day. And although I'm unemployed right now, and I got nine months more of creating content without having to worry about financial because of unemployment, um, every day counts, every fucking day counts. I can't take it for granted. There's some people out there that are working that don't want to work. I get an opportunity to do something I want to do. I want to take advantage of it. I did nothing today. So now I'm rushing and that's something I always do. I always rush. Um, today we're verifying. Okay, so we did a uh, we did a Tokyo Ghoul about half an hour ago. We did a Tokyo Ghoul. Um, that kind of, mm, I wanted to talk about Tokyo Ghoul. So we had a discussion about Tokyo Ghoul. It was more of a monologue, but she got her in here. If I was live, I would have loved to see what she got her saying. Um, and for that, we had one of my tattoos. And I was like, yo, wait. I want to do another song react that we just reacted to Pretty Little Thing from Too Close to Touch. And I want to react to this uh, this song, which is Bush and White, Hourglass, but specifically, specifically here. So we're going to be reading what it says together. Okay. It's too late. <laughs> Can you guys hear it or no? It's too late to take. I lost my breath with the ends of time around my neck. Am I more than the pen that hold the past? Or am I just a sand escaping this hourglass? Now, why does it matter? Well, if you're smart enough, you understand that the last lyrics or last word of the lyrics was hourglass. Um, but. Sorry, I thought it was a can. I thought it was some piece of meat from the lunch. It wasn't. Ew. Um. So yeah. So this song. This song is one of my favorites. We got a tattoo because it's so important. Um. It created another tattoo, which is this hourglass, right? And this hourglass is the system of the time and how much time you think you have and how the this is this. I was actually pretty fucking young when I got it. I was maybe um like twenty twenty one. Can you see it or not? Maybe here's better, right? Can you see it? Yes or no? Why am I asking a question that guys cannot answer before I post the video? Um, so yeah, so the um, Hourglass, and this song, it really, really uh, changed my perception. So the Hourglass that was broken is the fact that I was thinking like, yo, we made up seconds, we made a minute, we made an hour. It doesn't mean it's true. It's just a man-made man -made value, right, that we had it. Hourglass also came in at a perfect timing. Um, I was in... I was feeling better. Um, a bit before that, I was in depression. I was feeling better. I was still obsessed with Motionless and White. I was listening to the album, which is Devil Knight, a, a lot, a lot, a lot. I discovered them. I don't know why, by what luck, I discovered Devil um, Motionless and White a couple of months before um, Graveyard Shift uh, came out, which was my favorite album. And I remember working, and I was like, yo, I want to have... Um, I, I just want to enjoy music. I want to enjoy what I... <laughs> I want to enjoy music, man. I want to enjoy what I'm feeling like. And what I'm feeling like was Washington and White. Give Your Chief came out. Give Your Chief is an amazing album. There's a lot of good piece on there. My favorite is Hourglass for the lyrics, but also for the for the meaning behind it. I never want to stop listening to this album. See? Six years ago. How old is this album? Six years. Okay. So a couple of days after, possibly. The people who haven't experienced Washington and White are truly missing out. My all-time favorite band could listen to their song on repeat forever. Super cool, but we're not talking about the song. There was one Chris wrote about after his dad had a heart attack last year. I love the race and their song, It's Home, so relatable. So yesterday, the hourglass is super cool. There's my favorite lyrics, you're going to see it after, is um, Will I Aspire or Will I Live Again? Collecting dust. Oh, just so good. Let's listen to it. Um, I know it by heart, by the way. Yeah. Super cool intro. Love how we, 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 um, in this album, they took more liberty with the instrumental. If you ask me what is the instrument being played here, I wouldn't be able to answer. And I love that. I 
what I love about this song, what I love about the Emotions and Wife in general, it's very um, reactive. It's very, um, I'm looking at the, the world around me. I'm looking at the people around me. If you look at the last song we did on this channel, which was uh, Disaster Peace, it's about somebody that he left. If you look at the other song we did, we did, um, what is it, a song, Another Life, which is him breaking up with his girlfriend, right? And it's, again, it's reactory. It's not necessarily how I feel, it's a reaction to how I feel or what was caused. So this is another one. The very first thing he said, I watched the whole world running in chemicals. Chemicals are drugs. And you see that the drugs are being like distributed to candies. And you're like, holy shit, what can I do? Am I sober? This Am I weird for being sober? Can I put some in faces? Can I put a bit of importance to what he said? Um, will I expire? Or will I turn to dust? Depreciate, depreciating. So, again, he's talking about aging here. He's talking about the hourglass. He's talking about how no matter what he does, he, he, he's fated to end up being dead. He talks about time. He talks about passing of time. He talks about... Um, it's so interesting, the perception, because it, it's, it's, it's arguable. It's very arguable what he's saying. The fact that he's saying he's collecting dust is... The, this is is he talking about itself as a person? Is he connecting dust or is this ideal are connecting dust? Now, as a content creator, I am not a content creator, right? Just a guy who enjoys making videos, but you can understand that, okay, well, there's Ing Vendetta, there's me. Um, is there a day when I'm becoming irrelevant? And we have this we have this thought that irrelevancy is, oh, I'm not getting views anymore, I'm not getting subs anymore, I'm not getting the cash I was getting, but it's not necessarily is that you represented something and then you don't represent it. Um, I'm watching this show, right, and it's my, 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 my childhood, it's my adulthood, it's my teenagehood, it's so important to me, and that show is Kenny vs. Penny, and I grew up watching Kenny as this guy who had questionable morals, but that taught me about questionable morals. And then I'm watching him make com commentary. And it's really hard because when I saw his show, Kenny vs. Penny, which, again, I cannot, I'm not going to go inside the um, the specifics, but it's basically uh, a guy who cheats versus a guy who uh, follow the rules. But the guy who cheats is more entertaining. The guy who cheats as is he, he, a lot more entertaining. So you're like, okay, well, guess what? It doesn't really matter. I'm as long as I'm entertained. And now you're watching the commentary. It's like, well, I don't agree with this guy. And I'm like, dude, you were my child. You were a role model. And then you still, everything that you told me about 20 years ago, because this, this show's 20 years old, I'm 21. Everything that you taught me, are you great now? But those words were wine to me. They influenced me. So that's what he's saying. There's a follow upon irrelevancy. And irrelevancy is, is ideal or moving on. And when your ideals are moving on, what do you do? You change your ideals? You become somebody else? Kind of crazy. Yeah, again, the lyrics are so great. I'm in love with this song. Self deluded self sense of fate, as if he didn't, he can't do anything, and he just has to to watch his life goes and just be like, oh well, I'm aging. That's life. That's life. That's my fate. Again, what's being said here is so amazing. So <laughs> <laughs> Am I meant? Ugh. Is he supposed to write the future or is just another grain of sand that goes into an hourglass? So another grain of sand that goes to an hourglass is what he's talking. And again, it's all my interpretation. It's all my perception. But this hourglass is uh, the universe, the universe itself. So what he's saying is like, okay, well, 
I, I thought I had this. And again, it, 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 it can seem a bit narcissistic. It can seem a bit egocentrical, but it's not. It's like, okay, well, I thought I had a purpose because people are listening to what I'm saying. I thought I had a purpose because what I'm saying and what touch a lot of people. It helps a lot of people. And now I'm, I'm seeing myself age up and I'm like, holy shit, uh, dude, it's... Whatever I'm doing, it's is it irrelevant? Is it still matter? There's a comment that says, "Oh, this is Chris Father um, having a heart attack, and this is the answer," which I didn't know. I didn't know at all. I, I swear, and to God, I didn't know. But it's crazy because in this case, it makes a lot of sense. Also, Chris is talking about his father, and his father was supposed to be um, there to see him grow, and he, he, he raised him and everything. Then your father is facing a death situation. You're like, "Holy shit! My father's gonna die. Did he have a good life? Did he have a fulfilling life?" That's a fear as a son, that's a fear as an adult, um, because you want to, as a father, I'm not a father, I wouldn't know, but as a father, I would imagine that you want to leave, um, you want to leave a good place for your children, you want to do something to better the place, uh, to better the world, but at the end of the day, whatever you did, whatever you do, uh, it doesn't amount to much because you're all going to die, and whatever you do is going to be irrelevant if you think about um, history, talking about, again, the hourglass, um, so if you're thinking about people that are immortal or people that are true legend, you're going to think about Achilles, you're going to be thinking about, uh, say, Galileo, which is one, talk about Freud, you're going to be talking about Joel Caesar, you're going to be talking about uh, Cleopatra, you're going to be talking about um, Moses, Jesus, but all of those people are, are, are so, they dating for so much. They're dating, not dating as a couple, but they, they, they're, they're going back so far in time. You can think about more recently, uh, Nikola Tesla. You can think about um, Nikola Tesla, which is the inventor of electricity. Graham Bell, which is the inventor of the phone. But again, those people are a handful. And understanding that those are the referred to pen versus the grain of hourglass is crazy. I don't personally. I don't think that you you should have a um, a lasting memories in people's mind. If they forget you, they forget you. If they remember, they remember you. But at the end of the day, um, if you're trying to make a better the world a better place, then your message of positivity and love should be forever and not just oh well he's dead so fuck love fuck fuck positivity. <laughs>
I know I said it was Another Life, but listening to it after so long, we took, I, I haven't listened to this song in years. Maybe not years, but like at least a year. He repeats himself with a quicksand. At first, it sounded like a question. I'm letting quicksand takes me as the world, bro. And the lights fade. I'm letting quicksand takes me. And then he upgrades his intensity. He's not necessarily asking. He's like, oh, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm afraid. Maybe I don't want to, you know? He's having a different reaction to it. More intense, a more, um, a bigger emotion of it. I've lost my breath with the hands of time around my neck. My heart and the pen that rose the path of my life to sustain. This life by the hour. How great is this? Am I just a grain of sand? Enslaved by the hourglass. Enslaved, dude. It's such a powerful word. And again, such a, a negative um, word. Enslaved. Slavery. I was talking about yesterday with the mukbang. We talked about wage slavery, right? And with the wage slavery, we were talking about slavery to a, um, a, a, a greater power, which is money. But in this case, we're talking to slavery to a greater power, which is time. And again, if you don't think that time is a greater power, then you're going to die. Um, not tomorrow, not today. You're going to die one day and you're going to be like, oh, I wasted my fucking life because I didn't understand how precious time was. I I love this this part of the song is so cool because again you're 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 not repeating necessarily the chorus but you're you're sending a message and this guy the the the, the ID behind it. The song in itself is this guy, he, he, he's facing the hourglass. I was talking about how he's reactionary. He's reacting to himself aging, he's reacting to his father. Um, again, if it's, if it's reacting to his father having a heart attack, he's reacting to the fact that he's very vulnerable to the passing of time. His father, um, who my, my parents, if I, if I can relate to this, my parents, yeah, they're older, 65, both of them. One day they're going to be 70. And again, that's in five years. And understand that there's 70, and 70, like, oh, that's kind of old. And then, it's, then you're 80, and like, okay, well, there's not a lot of you left. And that's 15 years. I'm 31 years old. By 46, they'll be 80. That's a scary thought. That's a scary thought. But you understand what he means? He's a, he, he, he. <laughs> The whole song, you think he's about, he, he's referring to the time and he's afraid of the time and doesn't know what to do, but he's actually fighting against the time. It's like, well, I'm not going to let myself be a pawn in a game of time. I'm going to do my best to make the most out of the time I have. And that's the most powerful thing that you can do. I'm sorry, I'm tired when I'm tired. My ADHD takes over. So I'm moving a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, rewriting the storyline, this is the dream of everything. And if you look at Chris, if you look at Chris, and it, it, it's nuts because the song that was released a couple, um, in this album, and not this album, the album before, was this album, 570. Um, if you look at this 570, which one, also one of my favorite songs, it was released like, around the same time. And then 570, he's talking about how, how much he's accomplished. And Chris Motion has accomplished a lot. And if you look at the, the very beginning of the video versus the guy he is now, the guy is actually really cool now. He's very, um, he lives a fulfilling life. And he wants to rewrite the storyline. And by rewriting the storyline, he risks everything. But if he, he risks everything, I don't know, a desperate battle against time. And it, it sucks. But again, now that we have the information of his father, um, Having to leave because of a, he, he didn't die, but he has a heart attack. Like holy shit, my time. You, you as the, as every human, we expect to have a certain amount of time, and you're like, okay, well, this is the amount of time that I have. I have to make the most out of it, right? And then you realize that no, I thought I had more time, but then I, I got into a car accident. I got a a food poisoning. Um, I did. I get. I go to jail. So go to going to jail. You're not dead. You're not dead, but you you still have your your time on life, 
are cut off. And that's also the power of what he's saying. He's not necessarily um, saying, oh, well, I don't have a lot of time. It's like, how much time do I have left? And when you understand that, it's a lot. It, it, it's crazy because as every single human, we think, oh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be okay tomorrow. Even if you ask me if I'm going to be alive tomorrow, yeah, I'll be alive tomorrow. I'll be alive next week. What can happen to me? You never know. You never fucking know. But then, when you understand that, when you understand that you never fucking know how much time you have left, what do you do? How can you fight it? You can't. You can't. You can't. Again, we're repeating the chorus, but we're talking, we're, we're, we're changing intensity. So, Repeat the chorus, all it does is crescendo, 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 and then you repeat. And I saw that in a song with um, last, I want to say, two weeks ago, the 15th of March, the 15th, I remember the date. Um, it was with West Coast, and there was this guy called Diggy Grave, and he did a fantastic job. He did something I didn't see before, and that's something that he's doing now. He's talking about the tempo. And by doing this, your tempo is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's a way to go down. Um, so what you can do is, okay, well, the song is going to go high, 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 high. And if your your song finish on a high, it's kind of weird. So you're going to be lower. But instead of going lower, we're going like, okay, well, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time. This is the time and we're finished. And on a song that's about time, this is brilliant. <laughs> Bro, this is an amazing song. And again, you could say, oh, well, they're repeating themselves a lot. But you can't, whoever you are, whatever, I, this is what is cool about this song. It's very um, general and it's fucked up. And the fucked up way is very general. No matter who you are, no matter your aspiration, no matter what your belief are, no matter what your sexuality, your pronouns, it doesn't matter what you believe in, your time on earth is counted. You have to face, and it, it's, it's fucked up because... Again, um, he, he, he's talking about letting himself getting uh, eaten by set by um, quicksand. He's talking about how he's a victim of a self-deluded uh, sense of fate. He's talking about how he's a victim of aging and getting dust on a shelf, right? But he, he, no matter who you are, you still have a time in your life, and you still gotta understand that and understanding that and thinking that you're eternal won't happen. So we're seeing a lot of things that's going on with the neural link, right? And the neural link, like, well, maybe we can download the memory of a person. Then downloading the memory of a person sounds nuts. Sounds absolutely insane. But then again, I I bought a um. <laughs> I bought an SD card for a uh, hundred dollars. That was what a thousand gig, and I was like, okay, well, that's a lot. And I was like, holy shit, I'm, I, 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 I can't believe this exists, right? And it's not because it's that's how it's gonna go. Um, this song is about art. That's about dying and uh, our time passed. But what if our time was infinite? What if we could store our memory? Well, the other question is, if our time is memory, if our time is infinite. Then the, 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 the stake of the art class are the same. Um, are we going to be doing everything we can or anything we can to protect ourselves or we're not? Which I did pretty fucking good. Uh, so I have to write it down. Sorry. So, um, time before death equal value if immortal no value. I'll make a video out of it. And again, moral versus entertain. Entertain. Then I'm going to write Kenny, us, and Saul, Saul Goodman. My neighbors are up. What the fuck? They're up at uh, 3 a.m. Let's go. Oh, done. Sorry about that. Let's go back.
they were great with the end of the song. The whole song, you're like, oh, well, do I have enough time? Am I going to be okay? And the whole song you're talking about, how oh, powerless you are against time. And then at the end, he says, fear is not my fate. Fear is not my fate, saying, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm not going to be afraid. Again, when I do reaction, when the song is over, the song is over. The song is over. You can see the things. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm tired. But I love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.